Hello YouTubers, thanks for stopping by. This is Larry out here at Yorktown. The Victory Center here. Little little video today about my uh our state of Virginia. And some believe it or not things. So y'all stay tuned and uh give me give me some feedback. Tell me what you think about it. What you well, well, good, better, ugly. This is my uh 09 Heritage Softail Classic that I just got not long ago. Don't look like 09 does. It looks a lot, a lot newer. She's in good shape. Good shape. I like this bike. She rides good. She don't have much power as my other bike does. So my other bike was a 107. I also had a 114. Of course, this is only a 96, so you can't, you can't have as much power. But uh, I have to make do. I have to make do till I sell and get another one. Which will probably be uh, somewhere around springtime, early spring. I'll put it up for sale. I'll, I'll try to find another one this winter, which I will. I'll find another one this winter sometime soon. We'll see. Okay. We're in Virginia now, of course. Yorktown, Virginia. Did you know that uh, Virginia is the birthplace of the nation? Looks like the settlers came to first is here in Virginia. Yes, they did. Virginia is the birthplace of, uh, birthplace of our country. And, uh, next thing is going to be, Virginia is the mother of our presidents. There were eight presidents born here in Virginia. And that's what makes them... The most, the most presence born in this state than any other state in the country. So that's why it's the mother of the presidents. Mother of the presidents. Okay. Well, another thing about Virginia, we have uh, a lot of mountains, nice mountains, like in Tazewell, Virginia. Our fan 23, 24, and all that kind of stuff was going on. And we have beaches. We got Yorktown beaches, which is down there. And we got Virginia Beach. Uh, we got a bunch of beaches here. Nice beaches on uh, one side, and you got mountains on the other side. Not like California, no offense, but we don't have the communists here. <laughs> and Virginia is for lovers. That's their slogan. We are all lovers here. You want to come and see Virginia? We are lovers. Better watch out for us. <laughs> okay, another thing about Virginia. It's uh, the uh, residents of... Uh, I think Mars, the lady that inherited the Mars fortune, uh, she lives here, and she is worth $38.5 billion. Yep, I said that right, billion dollars. Yeah, her grandfather was Andy Myers. He's the one who invented the uh, candy bar stuff. It sure made him a fortune. Yes, sir, it sure did, yep. Okay, we got some famous people that live here, or from here. Is, uh, I got one here is, is Pat Benatar. You know the musician, that's the name of her band, is Pat Benatar. Yep, she lives in uh, Richmond, Virginia. Okay, we also have, um, let's see, like, Sandra Bullock. You know her from her movies and shows and stuff like that on TV and the theater. She's a big time star. She lives in uh, Arlington, or she's from Arlington, Virginia. She probably don't live here now, she probably lives in Hollywood. Hollywood. Okay, I'm going to go off course here a little bit. Y'all know who Samuel Little is? But you don't know who Samuel Little is. He's famous for nothing. Some, he's not from here. But uh, I'm, I'm going off, off the gene now. I'm going on different stuff. But he's a uh, serial killer. He's killed the most people in the world. He killed 93 people. Yes, sir, 93. But he was only uh, proven, he admitted to 93, but they only found uh, 60 of them. That's kind of weird, ain't it? That's very, very weird. 93 people. How can you live, you live with yourself? How can you kill one person? I, I can't even squish a bug. Let's, you must kill somebody. Okay, I'm gonna walk over here to the monument. Yorktown Victory Monument. It was put up here quite a few years ago. I think they said it first started uh, planning for it was uh, October 29th, 1781. And just after the news of the surrender reached Philadelphia, the actual construction began 100 years later. That's a long time. Completed, completed in 1884, the original figure of Liberty on top of the victory shaft was severely damaged by lightning. A New York work, a New York, left the word out, New York, New York worker replaced it in 1956. The shaft of the main granite is 80, 84 feet and height in which the Liberty adds another 14 feet. Shousy. 
Okay. Up here is the Liberty Monument. Monument. Look at that back. The Victory Monument. See that up top there? The lady up there? She's the one who got knocked down by lightning. It looks like I see lightning rods now. Maybe they put that after they, that happens so it wouldn't happen again. It's getting warm out here today, guys. Got a bunch of ladies up there around it. These the names of people that passed away. Looks like a... Uh, 1983. Something's going on here. I guess with a lot of people that passed away and been the war. Looks like some French names up there. So a lot of French died in this war for us. There's a whole lot, lot more names here. And who made a strange sacrifice? I mean, they passed away here. 1781. I know you probably can't see it, but anyhow. Okay, this tree back here has been here a long time. The reason I know it's been here more than 50 years is because I used to hang around here with my girlfriend. I sure did. We hung out there a couple of few times. Can't tell you the whole, whole extent of what was going on, but anyhow, it was fun.